Let's start by looking at a view 2 example using the options API. Here, we define a new view instance. Inside, we have a data function that returns an object, and in this object, we declare a reactive property called my reactive property initialized with an empty string. Next, in the watch option, we set up a watcher for my reactive property. This function will be called whenever the value of my reactive property changes. It receives the new value and the old value as arguments, and here we log these changes to the console. We also define a method named update property. This method takes a new value as a parameter and updates my reactive property with this new value. This is how we can trigger the watcher we just set up. Now let's switch gears to view 3, where we use the composition API. First, we import ref and watch from view. In the setup function, we create a reactive reference for my reactive property, again initializing it with an empty string. We then set up a watcher using the watch function from view 3's composition API. This function is very similar to the options API. It takes my reactive property as the first argument, and a callback function as the second. The callback is executed whenever the value changes, receiving the new and old values, which we then log to the console. Lastly, we declare a function update property to update the value of my reactive property. Note that, because we are using the ref function, we need to assign to my reactive property value to change its value. We then return both my reactive property and update property so they can be used in the template or other parts of our component.